What's up everyone? Today I'm going to be showing you the best and only exit lag settings that actually matter. A lot of people overthink the software, but the truth is most settings don't do that much. First, let's be clear about what exit lag actually does. It finds better internet routes to game servers and that's it. And here's the thing, exit lag only helps if your internet provider already has bad routing to the game servers. If your ISP already uses good routes, exit lag won't magically make your ping lower. It's like taking a shortcut when you're already on the fastest road. There's no shorter route to take. Now, let's go over the perfect settings for exit lag. And these are the perfect settings. You want to turn off hardware data monitoring. This is extra monitoring for no absolute reason. And then smart optimization, you want to turn that on and use dual roads be also on. Then optimization accuracy level should be set to high and everything else just leave it how it is. These settings let exit lag do its job, which is finding better routes automatically. Now, do you see all these PC boost features? You want to ignore everything. Things like reduce input lag, reduce keyboard input time. These have nothing to do with internet routing. They're just generic Windows tweaks that don't matter for what Exalag actually does. Leave them all off as you most likely already have them done if you've watched my other videos or you've booked an optimization with us. Then, when you see the energy efficient Ethernet pop up, always click no. Why? It changes settings in your Ethernet adapter that, again, you already most likely changed. It could cause issues, so it's not worth it. Just click no and move on. Then go to connections and go to Fortnite and make sure that you have use local routes turned on for Fortnite. Basically, exit lag works best whenever your internet provider already has bad routing to the game servers, you're getting packet loss or high ping spikes, you're playing on servers far from your location. And exit lag won't help much when your ISP already has optimal routes, your ping is already low and stable, your internet issues stem from low speeds and not routing problems. And the simple truth is, Exalag finds better routes, that's all it does. All those PC boost features, they don't affect routing, they're distractions. So what you should do is set your settings exactly like we did earlier, ignore everything in the PC boost section, click no when you see the pop-up for energy efficient ethernet, let Exalag do its job, which is just routing optimization. And that's it, don't overthink it. Exalag's strength is route optimization, not PC tweaking. If your ping improves, great. Your ISP had bad routing. If it doesn't improve much, your internet provider probably ha already had good routes. Test during the free trial to see if it actually helps your connection. If you don't see an improvement, your internet provider routing is probably already good. Exalag fixes routing problems, not slow internet speeds. So keep it simple, use the settings from the beginning, ignore everything else, and you're good to go. But if you actually want input lag reduction, exit lag can't really reduce input lag. That's not what it does. But you know what can actually decrease input lag? Our PC optimization service at Sleep.net. We don't just toggle the software settings. We optimize your BIOS for lower latency. We fine tune windows at the system level. We configure GPU drivers properly for lower input lag. And we also reduce the background processes in windows that cause input lag. And we set up your entire system for the lowest possible input delay. This is real optimization, not software gimmicks. If you want to act, if you want to actually feel the difference in the responsiveness and input lag, check out our services at silly.net slash pricing. And stop relying on one-click fixes or registry tweaks. Get your PC actually optimized with an expert. 